It's a sh feeling sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. today, can we? Half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jack door with a few more trinkets. I'm looking for a will set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be, not England. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, you just split it and sail home? Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. I would say the danger has passed. Reef in all tops! Hold down and clue up! Quirl those men!
¿Puedo ayudarlo? Not a bad take today. Keep this up and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here, but praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Fly proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lent you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own, Mona. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the... Fail ho! Military class brig on the horizon! Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? So die! Aye! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to corners. All hands to cannon. Careful around the <laughs> There is likely to rattle as far as the broadside. Let's test those powder barrels. Shall we? Aye, good thinking. On your mark, come out! Hold it steady! Fire! Keep right there, come out! Drop mine with a great countermeasure. Fire! Yay! Ready to fire, sir! Ready to go. Fire! Captain, put a shot right fire! there! Hands yourselves for real! Fire! fire!
materials required to make the ship stronger, sir. That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and bribe our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this notoriety you've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well-placed bribe to the right government official. You'll see the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. Ready? 
ready to fire, sir! I'm hit a star! Keep the heat off. For a fee. You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, ah. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. Jesus, will you listen to your trite? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you, gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea.
the yards off the wind. Crew up top. Douse those men. Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet, ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. God must be playing a great big joke on him. We trade a price which Mr. Beckford knows are fair. And with a quality he knows is sound. Aye, if his hearty molasses and raw cane, that's a given. It gladdens me to hear your saying so. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. I think it's a good harvest this year. You may not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly port, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with the chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you say, sir. All up and unfurl, boys. We're going home.
Captain has the helm. Loose and trim too. Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping. And he gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. I see them. man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantation, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled, or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous, too. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers across the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, and stick like wood line and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. here why such disarray bit of a do sir that's all it's wilmington's birthday and you saw fit to get pickled on duty it's no bother sir we have everything sorted we'll soon see won't we for you must double the watch this evening double sir whatever for i believe i was followed by pilots, if my eyes on me, though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though, not a ship that size. In any case, 
double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. For God's sake, what the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. Speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? There's no one over here. Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! To move on. I didn't hire snails. Faster, ladies. You don't leave till it's done. Ah! You then, stop. <laughs> Shit! Alarm! Alarm! You're in the court of Celeste. <laughs> to keep mm -hmm. his land.